Hi, I'm Jeff Anderson from Anderson Memorials, and we're going to talk a little bit about proportion and scale today and talk about a few little tricks that we can use. First of all, let's define them. Proportion is the relationship between two dimensions, such as width and height, where a scale is changing dimensions while keeping it in the same proportion. Oftentimes, we need to determine the dimensions of a given memorial design or its elements from a photo or a rough sketch. This may be to specify it for pricing or production purposes, or to resize it to fit cemetery requirements or budget. If you're like me, you may draw dozens of quick thumbnail sketches for a project before settling on one that works for a given client. Not done to scale, it's the proportion that's important. The size is only important as it pertains to the regulations, the budget, or customer desires, and the scale, re and the scale required to accomplish or to produce it. For example, if a customer brings in a photo of something they saw and they liked, and they want it to, to be a certain height, how do we find the rest of the dimensions from a photograph that's not to any given scale? A simple way of doing that is to make a paper strip scale. If we take a strip of paper and we mark the dimension that we, we know what we want it to be, and we want this to be four feet high on the tablet, we know now that that dimension is four feet. So if we take our paper and we divide it in half, and we divide it in half again, we now have that dimension divided into fourths. Let's say we want to keep on going. We want to get our half inch marks. We can divide it again, and we can divide it again, etc., until we've got marks on there that give us a rule. Now just for the sake of the video, I'm going to use a piece that I've taken a pen to so you can see the marks on there. I now have a ruler that is the scale I want this to be. My total length is one, two, three, four feet. So I can come back to this photograph now and I can measure anything I want with that to determine what it is. If I measure my width, one, two, two and a half feet, thirty inches. I can come and I can measure the height of this plinth at two feet, its width at a foot and a third, so one foot four, and so on. And I can figure out any dimension or any make any measurements of everything, anything that I need on that photograph using this paper strip. And I'll be able to real quickly determine just exactly or as close enough anyway to determine what the, my size is so that I can keep it in proportion as I redraw it, whether I do a CAD drawing or a formal drawing with, a, with the rulers and pens and pencils, it doesn't matter. This will keep me in proportion from whatever my original sketch or photograph was.